Hello everyone, and for this video, I wanted to talk about just a few little tips and tricks that are hidden within Google Chrome that some people know about some of these or don't know about any of them. I uh, just kind of want to go over a few things. Some seem pretty straightforward, but uh, still just a few couple uh, tips and tricks. So looking at my whole window here, you're going to see a whole bunch of tabs. Here's my address bar. Here's my bookmarks bar. So my bookmarks bar have like a few of the main websites that I've bookmarked so I can easily access. Um, the rest of my bookmarks are hiding underneath uh, these two arrows here. If I click on that, you can see them. Um, but we can actually add bookmarks fairly simple. The easiest way is just by clicking the star. And you'll notice after I click the star that the bookmarks added, but I can't see my Canva website showing anywhere. Um, it's hiding somewhere underneath my arrows. If I unbookmark that, let's say I actually want it within the bookmarks bar itself. Uh, one of my most favorite ways to add a bookmark is to actually grab uh, the address itself, click and drag it right where I want to place it in my, my uh, bookmarks bar. That way it's just easier to access. It's more recent bookmark that I included and I can add it and uh, view it directly from there. The second thing I wanted to show, you can see on the right hand side, we have all of my little mini extensions. I do like to test out different extensions, see what they do, see how they make my life a little bit more efficient. And the ones that I use most often and the ones that I have to definitely click uh, to access, I have showing right above here. The ones that are hiding are in this white puzzle piece here. So if I go ahead and click on that, you will see the rest of my uh, extensions that I have. And you'll also notice that some have this little blue pin attached and some are white. So the white ones are the ones that aren't being viewed. Usually I don't have to click on them to access them. And the ones that I use most often are blue. So if I go ahead and unbookmark moat, let's say, you'll notice that it disappears, click on it again, and then it reappears there. So it's just easier access and you can go ahead and rearrange uh, these bookmark, uh, these uh, extensions rather any way you need to just by clicking and dragging. Now the last three uh, hacks that I wanted to share actually all have to do with all of these tabs at the top of my screen. Tabs are super important, uh, especially for any browser that you use. And for some people, some people have like a thousand tabs open. Some people can only function with like two or three tabs. Uh, but the one thing you can do is organize your tabs. And I think this is probably one of the uh, best things here. Um, so I'm going to keep uh, working under uh, this Canva one here. But if you look on the far left side of your browser here, top left side, there's this down arrow that says search tabs. If I go ahead and click search tabs, you will actually see a button, a uh, little selection for every single tab that you have open. So if I go ahead and click uh, this Gemini one, it'll actually bring me right back to Gemini. If I go back over here and actually want to go back to my NHL.com, I can actually click on that. It'll bring me NHL.com. Uh, this is one way that some students try to like hide tabs from some teachers or like close tabs. Um, so it's another way to kind of see what other tabs that students have open. If I go ahead and click on that again, right down at the bottom, you will see a variety of different tabs that have been recently closed. So let's say, for example, I accidentally closed my NHL.com tab. Now it's gone, but I want to retrieve it back. That was an accident that I closed it. If I go back to my down arrow and scroll down just a little bit, I could see that NHL.com is under the recently closed. If I go ahead and click on that, it'll actually bring it back uh, without a problem. So it's a great way to get a tab back if you accidentally closed it. Now, the final two are really great, great um, productivity type of uh, hacks that you can use. You'll notice that within my uh, tabs here, I have two other ones here, one for my email, one for finances, but those aren't actually tabs. Those are actually groups. So if I go ahead and click on the email one, you'll notice that underneath it, it's my Outlook email and my Gmail. Under finances, I have a couple of finance tabs open. So there's a couple of uh, spreadsheets that I have available. So those are group tabs. So those are tabs that I want to group together with a common theme that kind of hide if I'm not using them. So right now I'm not using email and I'm not using those spreadsheets so I can hide them underneath those two groups. Let's say I want to now group the remaining tabs that I have here. So I have a few productivity ones, like some work ones. So if I look starting from Canva, let's say, I can click the Canva one, two finger tap on the label of that, and you'll see uh, an options menu come up. One of them being add tab to group. I can add it to the finances group, the email group, or create a new group right now. So if I click on new group, 
it adds it to a group that I'm going to name. I'm going to call it uh, for today. We'll call it work. I can change the color, different colors that are available here. Having them different colors than what I already use is probably the most ideal. So I'm going to stick with blue. And then I'm just going to click away just like that. Now, if I want to add these other uh, four tabs here, it's pretty straightforward. I can either two finger tap, add tab to group. I can do it that way. Or if you want, I can select one. So here's my calendar. Click and drag until you see the blue bar wrap around that. And I can do the same with my Gemini. And now those are all saved together. And I can go ahead and close that group or reopen the group any way that I want to. And then I can also do the same thing with these last two. So maybe I want to keep my two hockey, uh, hockey themed tabs together. Again, add tab to group. I'm going to make this a new group and we'll call this hockey. And for my fifth hack, I'm going to share this little option here. This is a great option called save group. So if I go ahead and click save group, you'll notice that it has two little arrows there. I'm actually going to quickly add my NHL.com one underneath there as well. It has now been included in my bookmarks bar under three separate options. So I have one for finances, one for email, one for hockey, the same as my three uh, gray, green, and red ones. I don't have work saved, so it's not an option there. So that just happens to be just in case I end up, let's say, uh, hiding the group and I want that group back, I can just quickly click on that option group and it opens those tabs for me automatically. So again, a really quick and efficient way to reopen tabs that you've used in the past. So especially when uh, your computer goes through updates or anything of those sort, all of your uh, group tabs disappear. Saving your tab groups is a great way to get those tabs back uh, instead of searching through uh, endless amounts of different uh, websites and trying to regroup all your tabs back together the way you wanted them. So one of my favorite things, especially when it comes to grouping tabs, is by saving them there. I hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure to subscribe and share any other uh, hacks that you have when it comes to Google Chrome. Looking forward to hearing from you and see you all soon.